Hey guys, today we have a very special episode. We will be blind tasting five different beers, all part of the All Together program collaboration with Other Half. So, stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Let's Have Some Beer. Feels really good to be back. I'm Jacob. I'm Jeff. And as Jacob said earlier, we have five different beers, or are they five of the same, all brewed by different breweries. So if you're not familiar with All Together, All Together was a program started by Other Half Brewing in New York City. Um, and basically, it was created in order to help hospitality professionals in the industry. So most of these breweries, all the proceeds are going towards uh, hospitality professionals in their communities. Um, a lot of breweries all over the world have been involved in this program. Uh, unfortunately, it's really hard to get your hands on these beers. Luckily, I got my hands on five of them. So we're going to do a blind taste test. We don't know which ones we're trying right away. We're just going to give you guys our tasting notes. We're going to pick our favorite and then we'll basically unbag them so we can see which ones we like the best. So if you're ready, you ready for the first one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's have some beer. So Jacob and I haven't done any blind taste tests on this channel before, right. but we've both done blind taste tests before. Uh, I've never done it using a brown bag, but anyways, <laughs> This is beer number one. We have no idea what's in here. We kind of like looked away as we were putting beers in bags, so we didn't know what went where. So I'm gonna try to do this and pour the beer without giving away what brewery it is. I think that worked. Yeah, I can't tell what it is. We have these child safety tops there we go. If you guys are interested in brewing this beer yourself, you can actually go um, to the website listed in the description and you can brew this beer yourself. I actually considered doing it um, But honestly after trying five different versions, I don't know if I'm gonna want to <laughs> But I don't know we'll see okay, so that beer is poured I forgot that we're trying five so I probably shouldn't pull the, pour the full beer, but anyways Here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So beer number one um, as soon as you handed it to me, I could smell it. Is that like just mango, passion fruity kind of tropical goodness? Yeah, it's. Oh, there's. It's other got things. a great aroma. Um, this one is clear, by the way. Um, there are a couple variations in this pack, even though they had, even though other half had their base recipe uh, for brewers to use. A lot of different breweries kind of did their own thing uh, to make it unique. So. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a hazy. This is obviously not hazy. No, this is this is pretty clear. It's yeah, got a clear. little bit of maybe unfilteredness. But... Yeah, may maybe. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Yeah, cheers. Your head looks great on that too. Well, thank you. Ooh, oh, that is lovely. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> First beer today, guys. <laughs> yeah, th this is a great way to start this. Uh, <laughs> This is refreshing, oh, it's man. light, it's crisp. It's definitely on the drier side. Um, yeah, that finish is nice and dry. Uh, a little bit of bitterness at that end. Um, solidly in that West Coast category. Ooh, this is just fun. <laughs> I feel like I haven't had a West Coast since whatever the last time we had one. Yeah, well, that's my thing is, I'm wondering, this might be the pale lager that was yeah, in the yeah, mix. It definitely could be. Um, it's got a lot of the qualities that I enjoy about hoppy lagers. That, you know, the bitterness, the dryness. Um, it's certainly clear enough. I gotta say the hop presence in this is wonderful. Yeah. You get a nice <laughs> back end bitterness and then just on the front of your palate you're getting delicious tropical fruits and then the beer finishes nice and clean. It's, it's quite enjoyable. Yeah, it's bitter in the way that I like my IPAs being bitter when they are. Um, it, it like I don't. Know, it's not trying to be something else. Yeah, I like it. Oof, it's going fast. All right. Okay. You ready yeah. for the next one? I mean, no, but yeah. <laughs> All right. On to number two. 
All right, so next up is beer number two. Again, we have no idea what's in here. I'm gonna try not to pour the whole thing this time though. Cause that, uh, that's gonna make for a very difficult afternoon. Yeah, this is a marathon, not a sprint, Jeff. Let's you know, pace ourselves. It's been a long time since I've been able to drink with my friends. So I'm, I think I'm a little overly excited. Now this one looks a lot more like uh, your kind of beer. Yeah, this is definitely more in the hazy category. Uh -huh. This is what other half uh, basically was looking for. It smell, smells like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say that the nose doesn't bouquet on this one as much as the, the other one. Yeah, the other one, one I could smell just from right in front of me. But yeah, this smells like a soft, fruity, hazy IPA. Yeah. So there we go. Cheers. Whoa! Tastes completely different. Very different. <laughs> yeah, my palate's like, what the hell? Yeah. Wow, there's just so much, like, fruit juice up front. It's it's also very soft on the tongue. The, the last one that we had, I'm almost convinced that it is a lager because it was so much more effervescent than this. This is so mm. silky and smooth and kind of, like, mellowed out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but man, this is pretty tasty as well. What I do like is that uh, most of these beers, if not all of them, uh, fit into a 6.5% category uh, right around there, which makes them very sessionable. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to worry about getting hammered off. Well, we're drinking five, so we might get <laughs> hammered. <laughs> Let's be real. But, uh, you know, if you're drinking two or three of these, you should be fine. All right, so tasting notes. I was leaning more like that kind of pineapple-y, um, nah, what's this other fruit thing I'm getting? <laughs> I get like a little bit of peach, peach or apricot. Okay. Like yeah. a soft, uh, like a soft citrus fruit. Um, it's not well, super peachy. Fruits. Well, you're right. <laughs> they're not citrus fruit. Uh, but yeah, I definitely get like a little bit of a peach apricot. What I will say is that the bitterness on this definitely lingers more on the back, like it's up on the roof of my mouth yep. and it's kind of hanging out there a little bit. I was gonna bit. say there's a little bit of like that tangerine pithiness going on mm -hmm. um, at the end. Fun though, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Tasty. I'm really curious to see what's next. All right. On to the next one. <laughs> All right, so we are on beer number three. Another all together beer. If you guys have a better strategy for doing like blind tasting, by the way, <laughs> yeah, this brown bag us. thing is working, but it's not great. So let me know. <laughs> the other thing I was thinking is wrapping the cans in foil. Oh, like along the label and then yeah. writing the number on it like that. And then we can just peel it off later. But anyways, time to pour the beer. Uh Oh, look at this. That looks clear too. Ooh, ooh, that's very clear. That's actually clearer than number one. Interesting. What could you be? Yeah, perhaps <laughs> I was wrong. Maybe the other one is a uh, West Coast. Yeah, it could have been old, unfiltered West Coast because this guy is... Yeah, this like... is crystal clear. This is lager clear. You, you can actually see tiny bubbles all up in that glass. Oh, yeah, this smells softer. This is... This smells really good, though. Yeah, that's definitely a lager. That's nice. Let's go in. Oh yeah, sure. Ooh. Mmm. Malt. <laughs> There's some crackeriness to this boy. Mmm. Oh, yeah. There's also a lot of bitterness on the back end. I'm there, surprised. There is, there is a pretty good bitter bite, yeah. So when it comes to the aroma, I'm actually getting more of like the bready crackeriness, yeah. a little bit of the yeasty esters as well. And then digging in, you just get light crispy boy mouthfeel. And then the finish is like dry, but it has that nice bitter punch. It, it's quite a punch, yeah. <laughs> it's like a jab. It's like, <laughs> oh man. I like it. Um, I probably could do with a touch less bitterness. Not much though. Um, it's definitely, it's good. Yeah, you know what kind of surprises me? Um, I might actually put the recipe 
to this beer down below, the original recipe at least, just so you guys can check it out and to any home brewers, you guys can try to brew it if you want. But the one thing I'm noticing with this one in particular is there's not a lot of hop flavor. Like in the body mm, itself, okay, I'm getting okay. just more of the malts. Right, yeah. And then you get like that bitter bitterness kind of like it's right here and then it just friggin' boom. Like yeah, it yeah, shoots yeah. up right at the end. It's a good summer drinking though. Yeah, I mean this will go fast. This one right here. Um, I am curious to know what it is because if it's 6.5%, it drinks like a five, five and a half, maybe. The bitterness, at least, to me. You disagree? You think it tastes like a 6.5? Yeah. I, I think it's got just enough substance about it to be like, this seems a little bit higher than a, a, a sessionable beer. The only reason why I would think that is because of how bitter that finish is. Yeah, yeah. And in order for it to not overpower the beer, it has to be balanced with the malts, which would mean a higher ABV. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, on to number four. All right, guys, on to beer number four. Bag number four. We only got two left. How you feeling, Jacob? Goosey goosey. <laughs> it's pretty awesome that we've had quite a bit of variety so far. I'm actually... Yeah, they definitely don't all taste the same, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, here we go. That has a lovely head. Beautiful. This one's definitely in the hazy field. Yeah. I like it. Of course you do. I know. Man. The, the head is really nice on this. It's it's a very soapy head. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely, yeah. I, oh, I love a beer with a good head. I don't know what it is. Anyways, yeah, let's smell it. That's you know, got what? quite a different aroma. I don't know. <laughs> no, go ahead, go for it. I was going to say, I haven't been pouring my beers out in glasses, and I'm just like, this is what beer looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jacob's been drinking out of cans uh, and bottles in quarantine, apparently. I've been drinking out of paper bags. If you guys know me, you know I always use proper glassware. And when I don't, I use Stranger Brews. Does that mean Stranger Brews isn't proper glassware? <laughs> Well, you know, like I try to match the brewery oh, with right, the beer right, that I'm drinking. So if I'm right, right. if I'm drinking a Modern Times, I got a Modern Times glass. If I'm drinking Green Cheek, I got a Green Cheek cheek glass. If I don't have a glass from the brewery that I'm drinking, I use Stranger Brews. Anyways, let's dig in. Right. Cheers. Ooh. Something tells me this is a Bottle Logic beer. Just a guess. Um, I know for a fact that theirs was a, was a hazy one. Um, I, <laughs> I actually picked those cans up and I was chilling in my car, like getting ready to come into my house. And I was like, man, I can't wait. I just want to crack one of these open. It was the first altogether beer I got, by the way. Uh, cracked it open and drank it in my car. <laughs> and it was absolutely wonderful. Um, personally, I haven't been super impressed by the Bottle Logic Hazies that I've had in like the last year or so. Well, they were kind of like, they made a whole series and then they kind of stopped. Yeah. <laughs> so they were like on hate. Well, yeah, but they, they've been making Hazies in the tasting room and they have oh, had true. can releases right. here and there. Long story short, I haven't really been impressed with Bottle Logic Hazies for a while. And then I tried this one. And I was like, hell yeah. Um, not say this is a Bottle Logic one, but that's gonna be my guess, because uh, it's reminding me of that beer I had in the car. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about it. I haven't had any of the altogether beers, so I have no you know, preconceived Reference notions. point. Yeah, but mm. I, this is inoffensive. Like it doesn't do anything over the top. It's not like straight up fruit juice. It's not, it doesn't have any like big pop of bitterness it's right in the middle, you know? Like, there's no reason for you to hate this beer because it doesn't do any, like, weird things. It's right down the middle. It's 
just a straight shooter. <laughs> it's a straight shooting hazy. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it because it's got a really smooth mouthfeel. Yeah. Uh, it's got predominant bitterness, but it's not taking away from the beer. And you still get the tropical hop flavors with that little pithy finish that, See, that was me, in one of the other beers. I mean, maybe because I went back and took another sip of number one. <laughs> mm. um, but I don't get, like, pithiness, really, um, especially compared to, what was it, number three? Run your tongue across the top of your mouth. That's what I mean, I'm it's, getting. It's there, but it's, it's there. not, like... It could also be that we're four IPAs deep, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. For me, whatever bitterness this has is so oh, inoffensive Mark. that you can just drink this kind of without thinking, you know? It just, it tastes good, and it doesn't do anything to, like, distract you from just drinking it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is making it tough to pick a favorite, but we're going to finish these and then go to the final beer. Beer number five. All right, so we are down to the final beer, bag number five. Jacob, how you feeling so far about these? <laughs> well, I can feel them, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely starting to buzz now. Um, what I will say is I like that one single recipe has inspired so many breweries to take such a unique approach. Like every one of these beers tastes different from the other and they're all using very similar if not the same ingredients all right so these breweries man they're confusing the hell out of me <laughs> i could have sworn they were all going to be hazies but there are a couple that i have not had before um speaking of which Ooh. oh smell that yeah mm -hmm. huh. that's nice Mine's very soft. It is, but it smells nice. It, it's kind of like, kind of multi cracker -y almost. Yeah, like I was- Graham cracker. I was gonna say it's definitely got more of a malt presence and a hop presence. The aroma's not super strong, but it's like soft yet sweet. Yeah, there's soft a yet sweet to it. All right, let's dig into this. Man, yeah. this one's crystal clear too. Fuck. Is this Pliny? <laughs> <laughs> Man, if they put Pliny in cans. No, this is way too much like honey sweetness to be Pliny. What oh. is this? This is nice. <laughs> very, very West Coast, for sure. This um, is definitely more on the dank side too, man. You a get little, that. I get, but I get a sweetness to it that I'm really mm. enjoying. <laughs> it's making me happy. Um, it, it does taste like it's got almost like a honey malt to it. Um, it, it's got like a really strong malt presence, but not, not that they overdid the malts and underdid the hops. It's like no. it, whatever malt they used was very strong, but it, it's like sweet. It's like honey. That, that's the only reason why I think honey malt. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a little curious. What did you do to make this beer? Cause it is. It's also Very crystal clear. clear. Yeah. One thing I want to mention about this beer is it's got like a really solid dank finish on the end. It's almost like they put galaxy in this as like their bittering hop, but there is no galaxy in the recipe. I'm really curious to find out who did this one. Now, one of the beers I got was from Salty Turtle Brewing. I'm not familiar with the brewery, but one of my friends and uh, somebody who follows me on Instagram, Sasha's World. You should check out her Instagram. I'm gonna put it down here. Um, she was kind enough to mail me a can oh, of cool. one of her local breweries. Okay, who... where, where are they based? I know nothing about them. No clue. I will let you guys know, I'll put it in big letters. Uh, but yeah, never heard Salty Turtle, no idea where they're from. I wanna say like Ohio or something, but whatever. Anyways, I'm kind of curious if this is what it is, because it's so very different from everything else that we had. It is, yeah. Um, I really enjoy this. I think it's a great beer. Um, I, I would disagree with you and say that there definitely is hop presence. Um, there is some dankness, there's a little bit of bitterness, but there is this kind of like sweet malt character that... I guess we're not used to in a lot of the IPAs that we typically drink. 
Um, even number one, which was clearly Ooh. a West Coast IPA, which I loved, um, very different flavor from this. Uh, this this has been a fun series of beers. Yeah. I really expected them to taste a lot more similar, similar. than they ended up being. Um, but maybe that just goes to show when you give a recipe to really great breweries, they're going to turn out just some spectacular <laughs> things. <laughs> they're going to put their fun twist on it, that's yeah. for sure. Um, okay, so now that we've tried all of them, we're going to talk about our favorites, and then we're going to find out which beers are in which bags. Oh. All right, Jacob, so so let's talk about these beers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Without basically repeating ourselves, uh, why don't you just kind of share what your maybe favorite one or two are? I know. I've been sitting here like, fuck, which one I choose? I know, they're hard um, to remember. I did really like number one. Like, that was a great way to start this whole <laughs> blind review. I just thought it was absolutely delicious. Um, number four, <laughs> um, that hazy that I said was just such a middle of the road, like a straight shooting hazy, like it did everything right, didn't, um, the, none of the flavors on number four like popped out to do any weird things to my palate to make it be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was really easy to drink. That was really good. But number five definitely is throwing me for a loop. I'm like, this is a fun beer and I really like it. Um, I think number one is still my favorite. Uh, I think it holds just a little bit more. I'd say followed probably closely by number five and then number four. Uh, that would be my... How about you? I'm just <laughs> confused. I heard you like number one the best. Yes. Then it's number, number five, five yeah. and then number four. Yeah. And then three and two are kind of whatever. Yeah. I mean, like, none of them are bad. It just, they're, they're about yeah. equal, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I will tell you, my answers are kind of similar, um, to be honest with you. I'm going to say that my favorite was number one. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with Jacob. It was a great way to start this, for sure. It was just light, crisp, nice, clean finish, great hop utilization. You get amazing, it's probably the best aroma that we got out of oh, any of the beers. yeah, that by far. <laughs> yeah, so, so great aroma. Um, you, the body is a beautiful blend of just like light, crispy mouthfeel with a uh, nice mild to like semi-strong hop bitterness. Yeah. And then you get like this nice hoppy punch at the end. It just, it just went really well. And, and the hoppy punch had a dry finish. I, I just really liked it. Um, the other one I would say is my favorite because although number five is, is interesting, it's fun. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Um, but number four is probably my second choice. And the reason why is because, you know, we're in a day where like hazies are still super popular, but I feel like everyone's trying to make high ABV hazies. And it's nice to just try like a soft, silky, smooth, hazy beer with great hop flavors, great bitterness. It was, it was a mellow drinking beer. And yeah. Honestly, if you're watching this, you probably are still in quarantine. If not, you're out and about. Congratulations to you. Um, but when when I've been in quarantine, I've been reaching for the most sessionable, easy to drink beers possible. Uh, it's been hard busting through my cellar. Hashtag drink your cellar. Um, so yeah, I would say number four is probably my second. So. Uh, Jacob, you ready to find out what beers are in what bags? Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> Let us find out right now. We're going to start at five and work our way down. Number five is Urban Roots. Oh, shit. Fun. So All right. Urban Roots made this beer, which you guys already know, because I probably already showed you B-roll of what is in this bag, uh, but we didn't know. That's interesting. I would have thought this was Salty Turtle. I've heard of Urban Roots, but I don't think I've ever had any of their beers, so it's fun to know that I heard of them for a reason. <laughs> I've had quite a few Urban Roots beers. Um, I'm kind of surprised, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. But yeah, cool. Okay, so number four was like one of our favorites. Well, that was one of your favorites too, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so number four, green cheek. Yeah, all right. Okay. Green cheek, solid, smooth, delicious. Yeah. I'm not surprised they do a killer hazy. What I am surprised about is I really like that Bottle Logic beer, and now it's kind of cool doing the blind taste test because yeah. comparing the two hazies, now it's like it's clear who who reigns supreme in that aspect. But anyways, okay, number three, Chapman. Uh, okay, yeah. So that was the figured, IPL. Yeah, 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 yeah we yeah. did figure that out. So now I'm really curious what number one is because I have no clue <laughs> at all. <laughs> All right, all right. Okay, you got number two? Yeah, number two was Bottle Logic. Okay, so that makes sense. That was the other hazy. Yeah. Holy all right. shit. All right. And now number one. We, I, well, I know exactly what it is. Was Salty Turtle. Holy shit, this was my favorite. <laughs> Show the label to the camera. Wow. Um, I never even fucking heard of Salty Turtle, so I... All right. You guys fucking killed it. So, I'm actually super surprised and very happy that the winner, the one that we found as a favorite, was Salty Turtle. Uh, thanks again, Sasha's World, for sharing this beer with us. Yeah. Uh, wow. Would have never saw that coming. Nope. <laughs> uh, it's great that, you know, a North Carolina brewery beat out basically almost all Southern California breweries when it came to making the beer. Um, wow, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of speechless too, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Which, this is why I've been wanting to do blind tastings, and I'm sure this is why you guys hopefully will appreciate this, is uh, when you don't know what you're drinking and you're just going based off of kind of a, a guess, a gut feeling of, I think I like this one the most, sometimes, I mean, some random... The results will surprise yeah, you, yeah. The results just completely surprise you. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've been in North Carolina. Um, I don't even know if Salty Turtle was around when I went. Uh, I did enjoy my time there, but this is probably better than I think anything I had when I went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, cheers to you, Salty Turtle. Uh, pleasant surprise. Um, yeah. <laughs> Salty Turtle reigns victorious. All right, so... That's gonna do it for our review of all these all together beers in our blind taste test. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of you out there have tried the all together beers from different breweries. I wanna know which one you've had that you like the most and why did you like it? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more blind taste tests, if you want to see us just get drunk because we're drinking a lot of beer, <laughs> uh, also let us know in the comments, but please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm telling you, it helps us out a lot, gives us a lot of exposure and encourages us to make more episodes like this one. So until next time, I'm Jeff. And I'm Jacob. And we'll see you again on Let's, Let's Have, Have Some, Some Beer. beer. Cheers. Hey, what's going on beer lovers? Welcome to another episode. Today we are reviewing a beer from Stone. It is called Soaring Dragon. It's an Imperial IPA brewed with white tea. So if you're ready to see what we think of it, stay tuned.